Monday Tech Talk Vibration Exposure Exposure to vibration is another health hazard common in construction. Workers sitting or standing on vibrating surfaces, such as the seat of a vehicle, are exposed to whole body vibrations. Construction workers, such as jackhammers or plate compactor operators, who operate vibrating hand tools are exposed to hand arm vibration. Hand arm vibration. Circulation to fingers is reduced. Feeling of tingling or numbness in fingers. Fingertips turn white for a period of 30 to 60 minutes. Pain occurs as circulation increase in fingers. Attacks are normally brought on by exposure to cold or damp conditions. With increased exposure to vibration over time, attacks become more severe and occur more often. In most severe cases of hand-arm vibrations, all fingers will be affected by persistent numbness, and although it is very uncommon, tissue damage can progress to the point where amputation is necessary. Whole body vibration, back pain and spine disc disease, temporary hearing loss during noise exposure, fracture, insomnia, stomach aches and headaches, motion sickness in the sea, air or land vehicles. Exposure to whole body vibrations over a long period can harm the organs, muscle, circuitry system and soft tissue of your body. Whole body vibration exposure can also present safety risk. One example of a safety risk from acute vibrating exposure is a driver becoming unable to grip the steering wheel while driving and losing control of the vehicle. Who is at risk? Regularly using vibrating hand tools or equipment for long periods, a variety of hand tools can cause hand arm vibration such as change saws, jackhammers and grinders. Hand arm vibration exposure often takes place for 2 to 10 years before health effects become noticeable. Exposure to whole body vibration can take place when you are on any equipment, machinery or structure that vibrates. Example of people who are at risk of whole body vibration exposure includes bus drivers, farm and heavy equipment operators and aircraft pilots. Good working practices to minimize vibration exposure. Using equipment, machinery and vehicles that do not vibrate excessively. Using simple motions with minimum rotating or twisting when exiting a vehicle. Maintaining equipment to minimize unnecessary vibration.